Hey everybody, welcome back to the VMP Performance Channel. I'm Justin, president of VMP Performance. Next to me, I have a Coyote engine with our new belt drive. I've got a really exciting new part that I wanna show you guys. I've been working on it, we've been testing on it, we've been on the dyno, we've been on the racetrack with Rebecca's car. The part's performing awesome, so it's time to bring it to market. This part in particular is our AC bypass bracket. Now, this is a component of the upcoming tin rib kit. However, it's also a really important component for people that just don't have AC on their Coyote and are running our Odin or Gen 3R supercharger system. It's available in six, eight, and 10 rib. It's for our new style tin rib system, which has a lip on either side of the balancer pulley. And uh, I'm gonna show you how it works and install one for you. This is the AC bypass bracket. As you can see, there's no AC compressor right here because the belt comes off the balancer pulley, goes on to the tensioner idler, goes around a ribbed idler, and then comes up here to the supercharger and back around. This setup uses an extremely short belt. What you're seeing right here is our street style no grind FIAD system and you can also use our race style system with the bomber bracket that has the adjustable idler here. The big difference is this bracket and this tensioner is all unique, and it does a couple different things for us. The tensioner has an idler pulley built into it. This is what allows us to bypass the AC compressor altogether, so we don't need it at all. The second thing is this tensioner arrangement has multiple ways of mounting to the front cover. It has a total of five points, and this allows us some flexibility as to whether your front cover has been ground on already or not. If you were running a Roush style Fiat before, this boss was just cut right off. I'm gonna lay all these parts out on the table and then show you how to install them on the engine. Okay, so I took everything off the engine and laid it out here on the table but there's also a few extra parts, and those are different options that are part of the AC bypass bracket system. So I'm gonna show you those towards the end. First, I wanna show you the AC bypass bracket itself. So this bracket has the one, two, three, four standoffs, and this allows for a total of five mounting points because the center bolt that holds the tensioner and the idler is actually a mounting point too. We've also got some other features here there are multiple holes in the plate, which allows you to angle the tensioner and take up more or less slack in the belt for uh, just options, to give you more options for pulleys, or if you can't find the exact belt, you've got an option here to change the length. Every AC bypass bracket kit is gonna come with the plate, the standoffs, the associated hardware, bolts, studs, etc. And then the big difference is gonna be the six rib kit is gonna come with this set of standoffs and this six rib idler pulley. And then the eight rib and 10 rib kits both use the same standoffs. They just use an eight rib or a 10 rib idler pulley. This is what the kit includes. I also have tensioners on the table. This is a little bit of a variable. A lot of you have already purchased the VMP billet tensioner for the Roush style belt drive. So this is optional, it's not included with the kit because we want you to be able to reuse this part if you already have it. What you are gonna get with the kit, no matter what. Now, I, I did kind of mess up when I said this was everything that's included. You're also gonna get the standoff here for the tensioner, and this is a 3D printed one, you're gonna get a real metal one. You're gonna get this spacer right here that goes here. You're gonna get a really awesome idler pulley with a double row bearing that's gonna go right here. And you're gonna get some hardware to attach the idler pulley to the tensioner. So like I said, this is a little bit of a variable. This is the original cast tensioner that is used with the Roush style Fiat system. Um, this'll work with our setup because dimensionally, it's exactly the same as the billet heavy duty tensioner. There is one thing you need to keep in mind. If you do use this tensioner, this will have to be ground down to clear this idler pulley. If you use the billet version, which we'll have a link 
on the product page to purchase this. Nothing needs to be ground down because that's not present. Okay, so now that we've gone over all the parts that make up the AC bypass bracket system, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble one for you. So we're gonna start with the main bracket body. I'm gonna flip it over. There is a boss right here that is gonna center up on this boss on the tensioner. Now, this is a genuine Litton's part made exclusively for VMP. This is a production Litton's part that Roush uses and is available in the aftermarket. There are other copies of this cast tensioner out there. They're not exactly the same, so we only recommend using original Litton's parts. Okay, so like I said, center this up here and here. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop a bolt into the center of these holes. We're gonna start there. I'm just gonna assemble everything hand tight for demonstration purposes, but you do wanna torque these down to about uh, 15 to 20 foot pounds. Good and tight is perfectly fine for this. So we've got that on there. Next, we're gonna grab our idler pulley. This idler pulley does have an offset to it, so you're gonna to wanna to use the side with the deeper barrel is gonna go here. You're gonna to wanna to install the hex underneath and then a bolt through here. So this large hex nut is what you'll actually put a wrench on to tension the belt. Okay, so I wanna show you how this goes together on the table, but depending on how your hands work on the car and everything, you may not need to install this right away. You're gonna grab your spacer stack, and this is the main idler spacer for six rib. It goes here. This height is really important because this gives you the correct belt alignment for the six rib idler to line up with everything else in the system. Then you take the 10 millimeter by 110 millimeter bolt, put the washer on, you drop it in here and tighten it down. Now, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. This is option one for the AC bypass bracket system. The tensioner is held on to the bracket by this little bolt that indexes it, this main bolt that holds everything together, and then you end up with one, two, three, four mounting points, which are actually A, B, C, D on the front cover. We recommend this setup if you have not ground on your front cover before. And that means you have that upper boss still present. This is a great option because it makes it easier to service the car. You can simply loosen everything up a little bit, pull this away from the front cover, and you can slip a belt behind here. However, if you have ground on your front cover, you're going to lose this mounting point D up here. That is where we recommend setting this bolt and washer aside using this spacer. And essentially this stud will thread into the front cover. So you would actually install these items on the front cover ahead of time then the tensioner and the idler and the bracket would go over it. And then as you're tightening everything down, you'd put this nut here. And then you would use one, two, three, four mounting points to hold the whole assembly to the front cover because you've lost this upper mounting point to, to grinding the idler boss off. Now the downsides to this arrangement is that to change belts or work on it, you end up having to pull this whole assembly back and it tends to be a little bit tight on the fan shroud, uh, especially if you have an aftermarket radiator that pushes the fan shroud towards the engine. Um, it is possible to trim the fan shroud uh, to where it's a little bit easier to get this on and off without having to remove the fan, but that's just something to keep in mind. Um, I did trim the fan shroud on Rebecca's car because uh, gosh knows I'm not taking the time to take the fan shroud off every time. So these are the different options. Let me show you one more time for completeness. This is the setup that's gonna be for six rib. 
There's slightly different spacing for eight and 10 rib. Um, eight rib moves everything out towards the front of the engine by two ribs. So that's why this is actually thinner because it's on the front. And then 10 rib moves everything both directions, one rib back and one rib forward. So that's why we use the same spacer. And you can see at that point, we're pretty much out of space. And of course, there's a different, if you're using the stud mount, there's a slightly different spacer that goes on the front cover and that arrangement. I think I've covered everything here. Let's get over to the motor. Okay, so we've got our Coyote motor stripped down and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install the AC bypass bracket system. First thing we're gonna do is start with the set screws. There is two 40 millimeter and two 80 millimeter. We're gonna take the long ones and go to the outside of the front cover. There were bolts in here to start with. In these two, I've gone ahead and removed them. These are through bolts. So we're gonna go ahead and install these until they are flush with the back. And the two forties go here. Okay. These are all in. Now we've got our spacers. These spacers are labeled on the diagram as far as the length. If you ever get crossed up, uh, we've got A, B, C, D, and we do call out the lengths to make it a little bit easier. The longest one is A and it goes down here. We do have a flat on here if you ever need to get a wrench on them. Um, because the front cover gasket is going to compress a little bit, you are gonna to wanna to tighten this good 15 millimeter wrench will go right on the flat. So that was B that I just put on. You just wanna get these tight, just barely snug. Okay, I almost messed up there. The shorty is standoff C and that goes right here. And then the last one, D, goes right here. Now, this is the one that some of you have already cut off if you have a Roush-style Fiat system. So I'm gonna go ahead and show it going together. I'm gonna show all five points going together, which this is the fifth point that goes to the idler. But this is the one that I said earlier was um, preferable to use the bolt if you were going to have this, and if you don't have this, then you definitely need to use the stud. So with all of these on here, you should be able to put your bracket on and have it lay flush on here without having gaps in any of them. In the event that there's something different about your front cover and you find a gap or something, you should shim it out because this all being flush and flat is critical to the alignment of the tensioner in the belt. So like I said here, this is our optional fifth point. This is a 150 millimeter long, eight millimeter stud. So you're not gonna wanna put your stud in all the way. Um, right about here gives us enough length to still get the plate and a nut on it. So we're gonna put the spacer on. Remember to use the correct one for either six rib or eight and 10 rib. That goes there. So. Now we're basically set up to go ahead and install the parts that we pre-assembled. So you have to make sure they all go on correctly. Okay, so this is our AC bypass bracket that we pre-built along with the tensioner, the standoff here, the idler, which has a standoff underneath it, and the long hex nut. We're building this up for a six rib setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the six rib idler these idlers are symmetrical, so it doesn't actually matter whether you have the clip in or the clip out, just put it on there. First thing you're gonna do is engage on the long stud. 
And at this point, like I said earlier, everything you see here should be flush. There should be no gaps. So if I look at that, that is all good. This is all this idler. Once we tighten everything down, this idler should be tight in here. We're gonna go ahead and grab the four eight millimeter bolts. Start by getting them all started. And then this is the nut right here. So if you guys noticed, I left the belt off this time so we can do some views and you can get a little bit better idea of how it all goes together without a belt blocking the view. All right, so that's all snug, all hand tight right now. You're gonna to wanna to torque those down when you're actually putting it on your car. This breaker bar is a little bit bigger than what we actually need, but it's gonna give you a good idea of the tensioner articulation. We, through testing, we have found out that it's important to install this tensioner on the tight side. When you put your belt on, you want the tensioner to be close to full tight, and then you wanna get your belt on, you wanna just pop up just a little bit, because during a dyno pull or a track pass, it's gonna use a lot of the travel as the belt stretches. And at the point that it tops out, that's when the belt can come loose and it can jump off the balancer, it can jump off the supercharger. That's when you get additional belt wear or belt breakage. That is really, really key there because if this belt ever comes loose or slack, if the tensioner isn't there to catch it, it'll jump off an idler, it'll break, um, we had a situation earlier where we were looking at a belt where I believe that was the failure mode. This is where your different points on your bracket come into play. As you can see, we've got a nice big sweep of the tensioner. Uh, however, if we had an overdrive balancer on here with the eight or 10 rib kit, we would need to use one of the lower holes because we won't be able to go to full tension uh, with it in this position with the larger diameter balancer. Now, if you do have the race kit with the bomber bracket, you're gonna have an adjustable idler up here and that will help give you some belt adjustment too to take up slack in the belt. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and snug everything down. Well, that concludes the installation of the VMP AC bypass bracket. This is something I've been working on for a long time. I hope you really like it. I hope it gives you some more options to build your dream car. I'll see you next time.